So this is the SuperSog calculator part 3, turning the heel. We start by measuring our sock from the tip to where we've knitted it to. And the calculator told us it's supposed to be 11.6 centimeters, which it is. So that's great. And we have two identical socks. And they're each 11.6 centimeters long. And we do the sock heel one at a time. And we do it on one side of the, the round, so on half the stitches. In this case, we're doing it on the first, on the, the 20 stitches on one side. And we do it by starting by knitting till the last stitch. So we're knitting the first 19 stitches, and when we get to the last stitch, we want to do the first knit shadow stitch. So we pick up the stitch behind and knit through it. And then we have basically two stitches knit into the same stitch. The first stitch was knit in the previous round, and the last stitch was knit in this round, kind of binding them together. So we turn and we slip the twin stitches over to the right needle and then we purl all the way to the other end. So I fast forwarded the purl section here a bit but we simply purl it down till we get to the last stitch So we bring the yarn to the front and slip the stitch over to the right needle. Then we use the left needle to find the, the mother stitch, the original previous stitch, and we purl through that one. Now we have two twin stitches purled through the same previous stitch. So we slip the twin stitches and then we knit quickly down to the other end and uh, in the other end we have of course the first twin stitch that we've made before and then we we stop at the stitch just before that because we want to make another twin in this stitch so we pick up the mother stitch the original stitch knit into that now we have one more twin stitch so now again we turn over and slip our new twin stitches over to the right needle and purl down to the first stitch before the previous um, twin pair of purl stitches. There we are. So we have the yarn front, we slip the stitch over to the right needle, use our left needle to get into that bump underneath the stitch, that is the original or the previous stitch, so the mother stitch for this one, and we make it a twin. Turn it around, slip the twins over, and knit back. And we continue doing this until we have eight stitches left in between. So eight knit stitches. So let's have a quick count. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches here in between our previous twins and our new twins. So then we simply knit the first pair of twins that we come across. Now we are starting to go back with our short rows. And then what we do is make a triplet. We make a triplet for the second pair of twins that we come across. So we do as before, we pick up the mother stitch, knit through it, and now we have triplets here. Super. So we slip these over to the other stitch and whether you do that before or after you turn it doesn't really matter. 
turn around and we purl back so we purl back to the first pair of twin stitches we see you can see here we have the twin stitches and we simply purl these and then we bring the yarn to the front slip over the the next twin pair pick up the mother stitch purl through it and then we have another triplet so of course when we turn now and knit back we are knitting back to the first triplet that we come across because now we're working with triplets and not twins so here I cheated a bit again and jumped forward this is the last row of purl that we're doing now so as you can see we come to the first row of or the first stitch of triplets and we simply purl it and then we have some twins here after which we have to uh, purl a triplet for so yarn the front use the left needle to pick up the bump purl through it it's so getting a bit tight here towards the end this is our last purl triplet and actually this one we're not going to come back across again for the heel because we won't come across this one again until we're knitting in the round a little bit later so we're knitting down till the very last set of triplets which we simply knit and then we're done that was the first heel well actually in this case you can see it was the second heel because I have the other one lying in the back and that's how it looks it's practically identical on the heel end and the toe end use a measuring tape and the heel measures 14 centimeters which is what we put into the calculator that we wanted so that's super now we have two heels and then we simply continue knitting round so we knit round and round and round and on the other side again we're using the magic loop so we're doing this for both um, socks at the same time then we come across this uh, triplet that we left behind before and again very unceremoniously we just knit it and continue knitting round and here at the end I just wanted to show you how these shadow wraps, shadow wrap short rows actually look on the heel.